Alright, during this demonstration I'm going to go through how to create voids in objects or holes um, using the push-pull tool. So what I've done is I've cleared out all of the geometries from my last tutorial from the first drawing. I'm going to go ahead and pan over here and zoom out quite a ways here so I've got a good high look at it. I'm going to hit R for rectangle so it activates my rectangle tool. I'm just going to go ahead and make a super big kind of a wall structure here. P for push-pull, and I'm going to push-pull this thing, or pull it up rather, with a click and a click. And there is a big slab of wall or something like that. Okay, going to go ahead and zoom into that. Okay, now, um, when I make a geometry on this. I'm going to hit R for rectangle and I'm just going to click and then left mouse click again. I'm going to click and left mouse click again and let's go for C for circle and we'll throw a couple of whoop, a couple of circles on here. Like, ooh, not that big. There we go, something like that. Okay, so if I zoom back out, hit the space bar. Oh, by the way, this is a cool little shortcut. Let me just make sure you know about that. So let's say let's say that I have a tool selected, some kind of drawing tool, and I want to get back to my selection tool. All I have to do is hit the space bar and it'll go back to that. So that's kind of a neat trick. All right, so if, when I orbit around here, you can see that it, the geometries are only on one side there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in here and pan. I'm going to hit P for push-pull, and it is going to activate my push-pull tool. I'm going to click once with my left um, my left mouse button, and I'm going to slide my mouse up. And I'm going to do it really slow, and all of a sudden it's going to give me, you're going to see how it turns blue. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of hard at first when you first do this. Let's, let's just do it there, and then I'm going to click on it. So now I've got like a like a pocket in there. Okay, like a recess basically. All right, but what I was going to get at is when you click on that and you start moving it back, it, it you can see how it turns blue. Well, if I move this up and around a little bit, it says on face, and that's what you need. You need it on the face, and when you click on it, you can see now that you can see all the way through. We've created a a complete hole through that that slab. Okay. Um, if you don't, let me show you in this one. Push pull through that, and I just keep pushing back like that. You can actually see that I extruded or pushed that all the way through to the back there. Okay, and that's no good. I want this on the face. So um, I can, well, unless you wanted it that way, but I don't. Um, you go back here, make sure it says on face, click it, and there you go. All right, and we're going to do the same thing with our circles. Uh, that's one of the reasons you got to maybe zoom in. Oh, you can pull it too, by the way. On face, I'm good. Pan down. Click again on face. Sometimes it takes, there we go. Sometimes you just got to move it around a little bit. And there you go. So that is how you make holes in, um, in something um, or voids. Um, you can do it in a bunch of different ways. Um, it's, it's actually um, pretty simple to do. You know, if I wanted to make another circle here, I just create another circle. Um, hit the escape bar or the uh, space bar, P for push pull. And then I can just click and do that, and I've got this little pocket there that doesn't go all the way through. And of course, that's fully editable. If I want that to go through, I just click, left mouse click, and then move my mouse back and on the face, and there you go. So it's pretty simple. And of course, if I want to delete or undo any of that, Control Z is your best friend. Every time you hit Control Z, it changes things back. And if you want to redo something, by the way, Control Y is redo the push pull. So Control Y will redo all those last moves. So pretty good stuff. Control S of course is save and that does it for our tutorial on how to um, create some voids in objects.